Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about one of the functions of cholesterol that rarely gets any notice or attention, and that is this. Cholesterol is an antioxidant, okay? So it, it's against oxidation, which basically means it's involved in a reparative function. It acts as a band-aid. Now, cholesterol does a lot of other things. Um, like it can, it's a precursor for hormones, especially sex hormones, testosterone, estrogen, and even uh, stress hormones like cortisol. It also helps make vitamin D, bile to help you digest. It helps bind microbes, but it's a very powerful antioxidant. And your body makes three times the amount of cholesterol that you get from your diet. So when you're consuming egg yolks, animal protein, fish and seafood, your body is actually making three times as much, okay? And it needs it for this very important repair action because if we take a look at so-called bad cholesterol, which is really not bad cholesterol, it's a low-density lipoprotein. It's really a little ship that carries some cholesterol in it, and it also carries triglycerides for energy and fat-soluble vitamins and other things. but it's going to float around and one of the functions it's going to be there so when the receptor for LDL in the lining of the artery needs some help it will reach up with a hand and grab some of that cholesterol to help in the repair so cholesterol really acts as a firefighter it's not the fire it's the firefighter that's trying to put out the fire so there's always a reason why cholesterol is going to bind with your arteries and that's usually because there's oxidation, right? Now the question is, what causes oxidation, okay, that would cause the cholesterol to come in there? Well, number one, vegetable oils, corn, canola, soy oil. That's pretty much in everything. Um, this is very inflammatory to your arteries and to your body. Iron, the type of iron that they fortify uh, grains with and refined grains, and uh, it's not the type of iron that you want to put in your body. It's very oxidizing. Of course, you shouldn't have to worry about that because you're not consuming grains if you're watching my videos. Okay, sugar, okay, refined grains, trans fats, and smoking. All of these things can create a little hole in the artery damage to cause the need for cholesterol to build up. So I hope this shifted your viewpoint from cholesterol being some type of evil, dangerous thing to something that actually really can help you. The key is avoiding these things right here so you don't have the need for cholesterol to come and repair anything. All right, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I wanna talk about these two books right here. Okay, I wanna explain it. This book right here is a very short book. It explains why to do keto and how to do it. It's filled with pictures. You can get through this in 45 minutes, real quick. It's just very important to know the details, the basics of how to do it. Now this book, The New Body Type Guide, should have been called Beyond Keto because I rarely find someone that has just a weight problem. They usually have a lot of other body problems. And in this book, I cover all the reasons why keto and intermittent fasting might not work for you. We go into the body types, we go into inflammation, we go into stress, hardcore, and what to do about it. So if you wanna maximize your results, you definitely wanna get this one right here, okay? So my goal is to get you to do keto correctly. And what I mean by that is do it healthily. It's called healthy ketosis. So we can avoid all the issues that happen with transitioning the fat burning. Keto flu, keto fatigue, keto rash, kidney stones, gout, etc. And right now on my website, if you get this, you get this at no extra cost. I put a link down below. Check it out.